What is up guys, it is Fictive, and I'm bringing you a tutorial today on a nice, a really really nice After Effects uh, color correction. So basically, this is what it's going to look like. It's a uh, very dramatic, very, in this particular color correction, it's very warm. Uh, by the way, excuse me, I'm a little sick, so, <laughs> yeah, I don't, alright, so, First thing you want to do here, let me just delete these. Alright, so import your clip. Uh, I have it imported. Just place it in like you would any other thing. Uh, now, what you're going to do is. Oh, you need to download the plugin called Magic Bullet Looks. And if you do some Googling, do some YouTube search, you'll be able to find how to get it. I'm not saying anything about it though. Alright. Once you have it, go ahead and create a new adjustment layer by hitting Control alt y if you're on a Windows, like a PC. Oh, if you're on a Windows, that sounds funny. <laughs> if you're on a PC, hit Control alt y and it'll make a new adjustment layer. Then go to Effect, Magic Bullet Looks, and hit Looks. Now what this is, it's a completely new thing, separate from Vegas, and... I'll just show you. Alright. Okay, so this is what it gives you. And there's lots of things you can do with this. If you can if you go online you can look for presets and you go to to load a preset you hit open look file and then locate your preset. There are also presets in here that it comes with a program. Uh but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a our own little look okay so go to the sidebar on the right called tools and you don't need to click anything just drag your mouse over there then cl oh then drag or then click post it's on the top right it should click I don't know what the balls it's doing <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> One second. Okay, so go to post and scroll down to uh, lift, gamma, gain, and drag that on. Now, what you're going to do is for the one I was doing just now, is the first tint or the lift is kind of a light blue as you can see it's kind of changing a little bit the second ch tint is a darker blue you can definitely see that and the last tint is like mid yellow mid orange it's like kinda like that see that kinda already brings the more dramatic look to things now oh oops you wanna keep this open you don't wanna hit ok yet now go back to tools, go to post, and hit cur and drag curves on. Now you're gonna increase the contrast, so you're gonna drag the the bottom two down and the top two up a little bit. To create a nice even curve like that. Looks pretty good to me. So then you want to go. Oh my gosh! Hold on. <laughs> Alright, then you want to go to matte, it's the second one from the left, and drag, go ahead and drag diffusion on. <laughs> now, you can play with this, this a little bit, you can like change the exposure if you want, if you need to. Uh, but what it'll do is add glow kind of around edges. So you could increase, lower it, see, like that. So oh, I'm gonna keep it like that. The grade is kind of like how much it's grading. <laughs> uh, the highlights only is if it if you only want the highlights to be uh, to glow or if you want all of it to glow. So about 70 is good. Highlight bias. Don't you don't need to mess with that too much. 
you can if you want it does make a difference but all right go ahead and go to lens and then drag a uh, edge softness on now what I like to do for this is you make the blur size a little bit smaller just like that see I can see the uh, blur is around that and you can you don't have to change the quality I don't recommend it actually then drag a vignette on and for this I like to make it a really like bigger radius so it doesn't it doesn't cover too much of it uh, you can change all the rest of the settings the fall off it'll be like the more the fall off the more it'll uh, I guess kinda come into the <laughs> come into the picture uh, the strength is just how dark it will be exposure compensation that's just changing the exposure to compensate for how dark it is uh, or how light it may be uh, I'll go ahead back to lens and drag an anamorphic flare I like these these are pretty cool what you want to do is drag the threshold down so you can see the kind of the flare go ahead and turn on uh, reflection boost oh so you see the flare yeah you can already see the lines so I, what I'm gonna do is I don't like a blue flare so I kinda wanna kinda want like an orange flare that's pretty cool <laughs> turn the softness up the boost will just mean is it's just how bright it will be uh... reflection boost is like the reflection see how right here it's the uh, actual flare and then this is the reflection uh... if this is zero if the reflection boost is zero then it will be the same exact uh... brightness as the original flare but since the reflection you don't want it to be that much so change it to like negative two negative three that's fine uh... let's go back to gamma gain I want to fix this a little bit yeah that looks better <laughs> this is just a universal kind of color correction you can do it's a very very good one and I really like it so <laughs> uh... Let me think, what else can you do? <laughs> there was something else. Wanted to... uh... There's not much more you can do, I guess. <laughs> Unless you want to uh, like adjust the contrast and the, sat the saturation of this, you can. Or the, just the actual exposure. Doesn't matter, but if you want to save this as a look, you hit save look as. <laughs> name it. So just, I'll just type my look. <laughs> save it. And when next time you use it, all you have to do is hit file, open look file, and then it's right there. Okay? Hit OK there you go <laughs> that is pretty much it uh... i'll see you in the next tutorial this has been fictive peace